The Large Hadron Collider. Why large? Why do we smash small particles together with such big machines? And when two high energy beams of particles collide, a huge spray of particles comes out. And we need big machines and big energies to get the most interesting sprays of particles possible. The energies at the center of collisions at the LHC have not been common in the universe since one tenth of a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang, which is when the universe was at its hottest and densest. Now to get these big energies, we need big rings. Beams of particles are headed in opposite directions around the accelerator ring at the LHC, which is about 16.5 miles or 27 kilometers in circumference. It's hard to keep high energy beams traveling in a circle. Like all big accelerators, the LHC uses magnets to confine and guide these beams in a circle round and round uh, as they accelerate more and more until they eventually collide. The LHC has the strongest large magnets in the world coming in at about 8 Tesla or 160,000 times the Earth's own magnetic field. Now to achieve these huge energies that we need to push the frontiers of physics, we build the strongest magnets that we can. But current technology can only take us so far. So we're forced to use large accelerator rings and the magnets that we do have to confine the beams. This is also why teams of scientists and engineers are continuously developing new magnet technology so we can build smaller but more powerful accelerators. But in the meantime, big questions need big accelerators. And the LHC is the largest of them all.